Welcome back to another vlog. It's been a week since, uh, two weeks since my Palm Springs trip and I've just been, you know, focusing on work and also taking care of Jelly Bean. Initially, I had planned a haul video for the past Monday, but something happened with the audio and when I went to upload it and try to edit it, I realized there is no sound. Unfortunately, that footage went to waste but i figured i can still do the haul in this week's vlog and share it this way it's a little less formal but it'll do the job <laughs> in terms of um on the home end this vlog obviously didn't start straight from monday um we actually had a pretty rough week with a jelly bean we started her back on the chemo meds and she's having some severe reaction to it causing her not to eat and between Alan and I we've been having to syringe feed her almost every meal and it's a little bit more tough hopefully now that she's coming off of it I think her system is trying to clear it out and gradually she will be back to normal today is Wednesday yes it's Wednesday this morning we actually the reason I'm dressed up a little bit is because we actually took her in for blood work checkup and all that stuff and hopefully we'll get results by tomorrow and if everything looks good then we know for sure that her not eating is caused by the medication all right i have some of the stuff out here ready it's not really unboxing because i did the unboxing in that video the boxes are thrown out and i know the video was not working and the audio wasn't working maybe i could have redone it but i didn't i threw everything out now we're just gonna do a quick haul first up we have reformation they have a outlet store right there and it actually had a lot of cute pizzas a lot of variety since reformation i do believe they change up their stuff a lot. I think a lot of their pieces do go to the outlet pretty quickly. This they switch it out. Right now, obviously, they're switching from the spring, summer into you know fall, winter on their online store. So a lot of the pieces in the Reformation store is the summer pieces. I got this little um tank top, I want to say, like a cami. It has a tie in the back here for you to adjust your strap length and it also has a smocked uh, backing here with a zipper to easily get in and out. The fabric itself is a crepe fabric woven and in terms of price it was really cheap too. I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks or something like that. The original price I, I want to say it's around like 60 to 70 dollars. Next up we have this guy. This silhouette is one of my favorite silhouettes from them. I actually own two floral dresses in this same body. I don't have a solid version and they just so happened to have it in the solid version. I don't have any green dresses, thought it was really cute. As again, smocking in the back, zipper in the back center to easily get in and out. The front has a little cup detail here and the straps here are tied so you can adjust the length to your needs. This fabric again is a crepe-like fabric. The price itself, this one, it was originally $248. At the outlet it was $173. I wouldn't say it's the cheapest. I think it's priced a little bit higher because I did see several pieces of this. The ones that are most like the cheapest, like this one, it was on another rack where there was less uh, pieces of it left over. This one still had a like, good size run so I think that's why the price is a little bit higher but I thought it was still worth it. I really like this dress and I do wear it a lot and you know 170 is still better than 240. Next up I went to the Adidas outlet over there. I got myself a pair of new slides. It was 20 bucks. Well original price was 
marked as $30 already discounted, but at the checkout, I think they were doing a promo. I had additional 20% or something and, or at least like even more than that. Cause it went down to like $20 or something ridiculous like that. But, um, yeah. So they have, they actually had a lot of slides options. And if you love Adidas slides, I highly rec recommend going to the outlet. Like they have the classic ones and all the sizes that are there. It's like a whole wall of them. Next up, we have these guys. I'm a big fan of their NMD style. And I just so happened to able to find a pair in my six and a half, all white. This was at the, you know, they always have a wall where it's just by size and they just, put the boxes there so you can't really tell what shoes is that you kind of have to look through each one of them so this is where i found this pair this was just a random find so it was the one and only pair in six and a half and i was able to snatch it up i think the original price let's see where did it say the price found my receipt so the original price was 140 and then additional discount at the checkout made it into 70 bucks next up i went to the balenciaga store and purchased a, this a little mini city bag with uh, silver hardware the price of this i got this at a thousand and thousand thirty dollars or something like that with tax and everything included it was roughly around a thousand hundred and something like that in general these like mini size um bags in balenciaga i want to say they usually run around thousand six hundred to a thousand eight hundred ish so a thousand dollars for a bag i think it was a steal and then next up is actually inside this bag because i've been using this bag as well as this i got a new mini wallet at prada this one came out to 270 bucks which i thought it was a good price given the brand as well as the quality it's in this nude color with a contrasting gray leather here i thought it was really cute it's very similar to the old mini wallet that i had it has these two flaps here and it fits a lot it's somewhat more narrow uh not narrow but like height wise it's not as tall as my other one but i'm okay with it it still fits everything that i had in my other mini wallet and um that one's been pretty used up a lot of the hardware was the color was coming off so i needed a new one for sure and i'm happy that i found this one and lastly this pair of gucci heels my friend really wanted to go in there to see if they had the boots that she wanted i went in with her not expecting to shop or buy anything but i ended up seeing these and they were steel i think the original price was 700 something i tried these on when i saw them in nordstrom's at the beginning of the summer season i decided not to make a purchase because given the color i feel like i might not be able to wear it as often as i want to although i really loved it and they're very comfortable the heel is a roughly around like three inches and it was you know easy to wear for sure it's very casual but you can dress it up with you know cute cute outfits so when i saw these at the outlet i immediately asked if they had it in my size they didn't have the exact size but i made it work i purchased them at 38 gucci shoes do run a little tighter on me so the 38 actually fitted nicely and the price on these was 230 dollars with tax and everything included i think it came out to like 250 or 260 or something like that but overall it was a steal from 700 something dollars to 200 something dollars i'd be stupid not to buy and that is the quick haul of what i purchased at the desert hills outlet in palm springs in addition to shopping for clothes and shoes i made some updates to our bedroom and i'm gonna share here with you guys for this corner i added a new sofa this sofa has been on my pinterest feed and instagram feed and i've been like dreaming about it for the longest time bandit is a big fan of the sofa he's claimed it as his very bouncy and very like comfy to like sit on for sure i have been using it in the morning especially for my um for meditation as well as journaling this is like my little corner see bend it he loves it like he takes his naps here now it's his sofa and then on this side um to pair with the walls art hey don't scratch it baby 
Don't scratch the sofa. I know you love it, but you can't scratch it, okay? You can lay on it, but don't scratch it. All right, back to the furniture. Because of the sofa on its own, it looked kind of empty and was missing something. To fill up the space a little bit, I added this nightstand that I got from West Elm. I wanted something minimal, almost vintage -y vibe, and I thought this nightstand fits perfectly to this sofa vibe. And on it, I have a decor piece that I bought from CB2 a while back. I moved one of the candles that I bought from um, the, one of the boutique stores on Instagram. I'll make sure to link that below and it will pop up on the screen right now as well. And then uh, some faux flowers. I tried to keep most of my flowers faux just for the cats because they do like to bite it and I don't want them to accidentally get poisoned or spill the water over. Here I'm just keeping my journal as well as my ear pods because that's where, you know, in the morning I kind of use this space now to meditate as well as journal. The only other thing I might add and was kind of debating is if I want to add a chandelier here. Obviously nothing too exaggerated, something minimal, but to kind of pull in the whole space or I just want to keep it minimal. Still deciding between the two. What do you think, Bandit? I just purchased some new uh, dried flower stems that I want to put into the guest bathroom downstairs. There's a little vase downstairs that I, it's kind of empty right now. I sometimes put fresh flowers in it, but because of my guest bathroom, it doesn't get any sunlight. Most fresh flowers die within one day, not even a week. I figure probably dried flowers would make a better decor in there. Anyway, let's do this. package from Tiger Mist. So this Saturday we have a birthday party of a friend's um, Shane. He showed up in a few of my vlogs. Wait, the Vegas one at least, that one. And it's his birthday this month. Oh my god, I need scissors. Hang on. Alright, we got the scissors. Let's do this. I'm gonna... This is far two there we go okay this is a better angle let's open this up so i bought this dress because they had a theme which is miami vice and as you guys know most of my outfits although the theme is very loosely however i'm a true believer if there's a theme have fun with it life too short to not go in theme okay and their theme is miami vice and I wanted something that's more colorful, more like Miami-esque. And obviously, for the most part, I'm always in solids, never in like a lot of color. But I saw this dress a while back on Tiger Mist. I thought it was really cute, but I didn't purchase it at the time thinking, you know, I don't know when I would ever wear it. And with this theme, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. But initially, the tracking was telling me it won't get shipped here till next Monday and I was hoping and praying that it will get here a little bit early by miracle and it did. Today is Wednesday, at least four business days early and thank you. <laughs> and let's take a look. Look how colorful it is. Okay, this is totally not something I would usually wear but I am going to have fun with this. See how the quality is okay it's a mesh see the print isn't it so miami though 
like almost like that Versace-esque but not you know how cute it's a cami dress it has a center front opening here as you can see it is lined the lining is just regular um, lining it's not self but it's in this baby blue color which gives the mesh a little bit of a pop on top of all the colors that it has I think we need to try this on just to see how it goes let's do it all right this is the dress okay it fits good I was worried that because it's very stretchy. This dress is super stretchy, very hugging in the right places. And the straps are super stretchy too. And it's adjustable, which is great. So it's easy to adjust as needed. It's a midi length, so it kind of comes right to roughly my ankles, not so much, but I don't have heels on to be in right now. Really cute. I do have to figure out what jacket to bring because lately LA is getting chillier. I know LA chilly and the party's at night and I don't think I'll be okay in just this right now. For sure going to accessorize, kind of want to do my hair up for the look. I think it will like, it shows a better shape or elongate the neck the trick is if you're not very tall tie your hair up always makes you look a little bit more lean more tall more elongated and that's always my trick at least it's like show the nice neckline you know <laughs> but cute happy good job tiger mist when people call you extra just look them in their face and say Am I extra or are you basic? Be a blessing.